Hi, I'm the Gentleman Cabbie, and in an age where we're permanently plugged into cyberspace, I'm on a mission to bring the art of conversation back to the streets of London. My name's Lucy and I am currently a stay-at-home mum. Brilliant. Okay, so today's question we'll kick off with is um, what's your most treasured possession and why? My most treasured possession, possessions, because there's Ooh. three of them, Okay. are my children. Great. Obviously, I think everyone would say that, wouldn't they? <laughs> what's, what's your best memory then? My, of some of my favourite memories yeah. are of holidays. Yeah. I think. What's your what do you reckon your favourite place that you've been to? Visit to visit was um Greek Islands. So I've just come back from Crete. That was, oh really? That was really What is lot. what are the Greek islands like? Because obviously there's you know there's been lots of turmoil with Greece recently. Yeah, but n not when you get there because um obviously they they're limited with the, the cash that they can get out and stuff. Is that still going on, is it? Yeah, yeah. But they all they ask is that you pay cash. Yeah. Don't don't use your cards. Yeah. So then they've obviously got the cash in their hands. But tourists can go and take out how much money they want at the banks. So it's not it's not what people think it's like. Did it you, doesn't look like the country going under to me. Really? Did you get any the, the, they didn't show you any animosity then to uh, you know about taking being able to get money out of no, the banks and no, stuff? No, 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 they love you being there, they yeah. want you to come back. That's what I mean, it doesn't look like they're going under. Really lovely, okay. lovely. Yeah. I, I would never I've never gone back to the same place twice, but I would definitely go back there again next year. So I want to kind of I'm trying to gauge people's um, opinions on some topical stuff as well. Yeah. Um, one of the, one of the things that's been in the, in the in the newspapers on the news recently has been coverage about the, the migrant crisis. Yeah. I mean, how do you feel when you see stuff on the on the on the you know in the papers and on the news? Because you hear stuff. You know, David Cameron comes out with terms like migrant swarms, which which kind of creates an image of what what's happening. But yeah. How do you feel when you when you see that kind of stuff? Um. Do you know what? I, I, I was thinking about this when I was away because obviously the Greek islands are having the same problem at yeah. the moment, aren't they? Absolutely. And I was thinking to myself, do you know what? If you had a newborn baby and you was in a war-torn country, what would you do? I would you'd try and get out. You'd pick your kids up and you'd go. <laughs> yeah. And if there was a country that was saying, we will give you shelter, we will give you food, we will give you money, we'll take of course it. you're going to go there. Why would you not go there? Yeah. I would. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. I think it's... The, the, the papers, to me, spend a lot of time trying to dehumanise and demonise all these people. Yeah, um, I mean, you you would do you would do exactly the same thing. Yeah. Anyone would, and if they said any different, they're lying. I think people should talk about it more, really, yeah. and discuss it because people are getting angry over yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's causing ill feelings. It does cause ill feelings, yeah. and it shouldn't really. There's a lot of ignorant people out there who don't look up the facts. So one, one last question, again, a little bit topical, but I'm yeah. always interested to get my passengers' opinions on Uber and, and ah. you know, the stuff between that and, and black cabs. Because obviously you've jumped in a black cab, which is brilliant. Yeah. My, uh, my, no, husband's I was, my husband's a chauffeur, well, he's right. retiring now. He's not very impressed with them. Really? I'll be honest not, with I would think you're quite take, I wouldn't have uh, taken people's living away. And I, and, and I wouldn't want, I, I wouldn't feel safe letting my teenage daughter in use Uber and that's a really bad thing to say but I wouldn't at all. So how, how do you actually feel about black cabs? Are you, are you, know, are you totally positive or do you... Well they're completely safe as long yeah. as they've got their number. I always say to my daughter when she gets a new cab on her own, look at the number. First thing you do, just take a screenshot of the number so if anything does go wrong... Yeah. You've got the number. You've got yeah. the number. Well I mean I have to say I mean, there's been relatively few instances of you know black cab drivers ever get doing into trouble it, no, for doing exactly. it. Exactly. Uh, I mean, nothing. I Why would you get in an Uber cab when you could get in well, a black Well, because, I mean, they are cheaper at times. No, you know, not, not they always, are cheaper, but, they are cheaper. but they're not safer. But they, and they get there quicker or something because they've parked everywhere. But, <laughs> well, yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm not even sure that's that's true. I think, you yeah, know, so that, yeah, that's what they say. But, well, you're, um, hiring, you're hiring a bloke with a sat nav, so when it goes wrong, yeah. it goes really bad. Yeah, that is bad. it. They See, that's the thing as well. You know, if you get in a black cab, and I say to you, I want to go, blah, 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 over South London, you're going to know, because you've trained. 
for how many, three, four years. Those with the sat yeah. navs, not Those people, people not do sitting it. in, I could do what they're doing. But, but unfortunately, with a lot of people, their wallets are all their heart, so you know. Yeah. Um, not everyone, because I wouldn't. I would choose definitely choose oh, no, a black I one. Get one. And I'd want I my, I've cabs. got three daughters, and I would always say to them, get in a black cab. Oh. Not, not even a mini cab. Yeah. No, not a mini cab. A black cab. Don't trust mini cabs. Uh, people go, why is the knowledge still relevant when people, when you, you know, you can use a sat nav? But it is, yeah. it is a test of you've character. You've got to have it. Of course it is. You must have it because you've got, that's, that's where you feel safe. Yeah. I mean, they do, the, doing the knowledge weeds out the people who, A, aren't really that bothered about the whole, the whole business of being a cabbie. Yeah. Um, and they put you under a lot of pressure. And so if you, if, if you have got any personality defects, then they, They're gonna come they out. generally <laughs> come out when, when you're there yeah, with the, uh, you know, yeah. sir. Yeah grilling you, you know. I've always used black caps on my life. I wouldn't, I dream, I wouldn't dream of using anything else. <laughs> no, well, I that, think that is, people that is your age when you die, like, I wouldn't dream that. The older that generation, they wouldn't know how to use it. But well, women I mean, wise, and most of my friends that I know would, always, would, would get a black cab any day over a mini cab or say Halo or Uber or whatever. Well, ladies, can I just say it's been an absolute pleasure yes, talking to you. Thank you very much for taking part in the Gentleman <laughs> Cabbie. Thanks for watching the Gentleman Cabbie. Click the videos to see more great interviews, and don't forget to subscribe.